So let me define artificial intelligence. Demis Hassabis, the CEO of DeepMind, says, AI is computer systems that turn information and data into knowledge. Now, if you're sitting here and you are a knowledge worker, most of us are knowledge workers, right? this should concern you. Right? If a machine has knowledge, what do we have? I mean, you go to school right, to have knowledge. And then when you come out, you're supposed to get paid for your knowledge. What if the machine does it for free, which it does? What kind of knowledge do machines have? Well, the answer is binary knowledge. You know, zeros and ones. If you feed all of the world's philosophers into IBM Watson or any AI system, right, it will do the whole thing. It will read every possible book about philosophy in roughly two minutes. And then you ask a question. The machine will give you a perfect answer, but the machine is not a philosopher. Why is that? Because the machine has not understood anything that it says. It just has the data. It has no understanding what any of it actually means. Machine intelligence is not about meaning, it's about patterns. We have to understand the very big difference. Human life is about meaning. Think about what moves us the most. It's not data. At least we don't think of it that way. <laughs> it's relationships, engagement, meaning, experiences. That's why you're here and not watching a screen. And data is just part of that. So it's really important to realize when we talk about generative AI, AI that can make things, it's the same idea, but turning information and data into content, into media. And therein lies the strength and the weakness. Because the data that this machine is using, like ChatGPT, is data from the internet, which means mostly Western internet, white guy internet, you could say. Right? I mean, the Chinese language, the Malay language, Indian languages, 367 of them, they're not part of the data model of OpenAI, obviously.